<laughs> Welcome to Mondays with Mira. I'm Mira Reisberg and today we're looking at meerkat mail. As you can see, it's very smartly done. Look at the front, look at the back. It's about mail and it's created as a package. We've got what looks like uh, the address on the back and then on the front we've got the title and the author illustrator's title and because she's the author illustrator she has a lot more creative freedom to do all sorts of things with this. We have some very very smart end pages here and they really introduce us nicely. Small but strong, heroic meerkats praise family motto, stay safe, stay together. Our reporter Liz Ard investigates. I love really dorky puns like that. And it says here, Sonny Meerkat lives in the desert with his family. He likes beetles on toast with insect larvae, daydreaming and digging holes. And so this looks like it was done with watercolors with either pencil outline or a combination of pencil and watercolor. We've got nice white space, even though there's a little bit of very subtle texture behind there. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. And so we've got all these fun little visuals here where we've got the ants that are climbing over the fan and climbing over the umbrella. And there's a cricket or a locust on his belly. Sonny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn together, and sleep together. Remember, a meerkat alone is on its own. Stay safe, stay together, and stay away from jackal. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sonny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sonny wishes that he could live somewhere else, so he packs his suitcase and writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry mom, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives so we'll be quite safe. Love from Sonny. P.S. I promise to write. So here Emily has combined a little bit of collage elements and we noticed on the cover there was also some collage with the, um, the paper and the tape, though I think the string was illustrated, though the whole thing might be illustrated. She's pretty darn good. On Monday, Sonny visits his Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob's family makes him very welcome, but Sonny just doesn't fit in. And so here... We've got a postcard and it's a lift the flap. And I learned from Roxy Munro recently that lift the flap books and books that have paper engineering are very, very expensive to make. And it's usually just the first run that they do that because they have to shut down the whole printing press and everybody does these by hand. So think about that if you're doing books that have you know fold outs like this or paper engineering but sometimes you just got to do them and sometimes they're a huge success and they pay for themselves but a lot of times they don't so it's you know a little more risky for the publisher so let me just read this out to mom and dad it's a lot like being home here except that I am the biggest oh, I need glasses for this <laughs> Except that I'm the biggest. Hooray! The weather is sunny and the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions. Yum! Best thing is no one has to keep lookout because there's this bird which goes squawk when there is danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is stay safe, stay together. He told me theirs is run and hide from Sunny. And then it's got this adorable little drawing. Just got bitten by a bug which is the, on the front it has the African hornbill, which is the bird that warns the um, mongoose when danger is coming. And aren't mongoose incredibly cute? And that's something else that I wanted to point out, is that 
Um, meerkats and mongoose are unusual animal protagonists. So when you, if you're writing an animal story, think about how you can use an unusual animal that's not like a cat or a pig or a squirrel or a bunny, but something that's a little out of the ordinary. So on Tuesday, Sonny goes to stay with his cousin Scratch and Mitch and the rest of the family. Greetings from Banded Moose. Sorry, greetings from ba <laughs> greetings from Banded Mongoose Country. Sonny is getting itchy feet. He decides. Whoops! I should open this first. Dear Mom and Dad, we have been living in an old termite mound, but we are moving. There is plenty to eat. Yours ticklishly sunny. And it says the meerkat mob, cozy burrow, the dunes, Kalahari desert under the big blue sky. Sunny is getting itchy feet. Nice pun. He decides it's time to move on. And so you can guess what happens. On Wednesday he arrives at his cousin Edward's. Hello from the farm. On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins Mildred and Frank. And it says, I heart rainy days. Dear Mom and Dad and everyone, it is raining quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Lots of, loads of love from sunny, scratched out rainy. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an, an umbrella. And so we've got this little second story happening behind of a jackal following throughout. We've got it shifting from third person, the narrator who talks about what Sonny does, and then first person in the postcards where Sonny talks about what he does from his perspective. And so the story goes on and it too has some wonderful twists and turns and it too has a lovely and very satisfying ending. <laughs> and then the last thing that I want to point out with this, um, <laughs> look how adorable this is. And I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but there's um, really very subtle images in the black background where it, the background has, it's very dark, but it's got even darker silhouette figures behind. I'm not going to give the end away. You may guess some of it, but you're not going to guess all of it. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to share... Oh, I love this book. Uh, I'm going to share these end sheets here, which are different from the front end sheets, and give us even more visual information and more fun. And then when you lift the flap up, it says... Adventure returns after one week away from his mob. Sonny comes home. And then you could read that with, with glasses. That's it from Meerkat Mail by Emily Gravett, who is awesome. And this was published by Simon and & Schuster. And they do some really good books. So well done. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.